Yeah, that's good. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 15, Episode 6. And this episode is actually probably the best episode of Supernatural since Remembering Dean. Uh, whichever episode it was where Dean had uh, the memory spell. It was actually that good. This was a very down-to-earth sort of episode. This was a very grounded character episode, very much about Sam. They brought back Eileen, which was kind of mm, fan surfacey, but admittedly, I think this was them making up for that absolutely horrible way that they killed off the character back in season 12 or 13 it was. That was one of my favorite characters, and they introduced her in season 11, if I'm correct, and when they killed her off just so unceremoniously in 12, I was very pissed. So to see her get a proper conclusion to her character, well, this might not even be a conclusion, really, but I did like that they were able to give this character a second chance, considering how horribly Andrew Dabb killed her off. She returns as a ghost because she went to hell so somehow because the hellhound dragged her down, but they can't send her back to heaven, even though they did it with Bobby, which... I don't know, someone's gonna have to explain that to me. So what their idea is to go to Rowena's place, find a crystal, and bring her back, like put her in a crystal, but they actually they end they find a way to bring her back into her body. However, there are these weird witches that want the stuff too. I actually really liked how there is that hex in Rowena's place that prevents uh people from like being in there for too long it will kill them the instant they enter except for sam sam has that clause there was this kind of dynamic between all the witches but in the end they're all bad anyways the one with the white hair kept on making me think it was what's his name from fantastic beasts and where to find them ezra miller <laughs> but i did enjoy the conflict with them i did enjoy the personal relationship between sam and eileen use the sign language just the characters they have really good chemistry i've always liked that eileen character and the actress who plays her so to see her and sam interact again and to see her become human again that was actually a very good scene i i liked the tone i liked how they shot it i liked how they put it together i think this part was very well done only negative i have with this episode is when the fight scene happened and just how bad everything was put together. The music was horrible. Whoever thought that music was a good idea, it just sounded so goddamn corny. It sounded like something out of a bad 80s action flick. When Dean shoots one of the girls, she, they all just watch her die and then she turns around and Dean's just like, yeah, I'm gonna wait for you to take my gun out of my hand. Again, it's just not a very well shot action scene that that action scene is the only negative i have because it just looks so stupid they're all like on sam she's doing her spell as well as the other ones ringing him and all sam's doing is just this i think that's the only part that's the only negative of this whole episode aside from that this is by far the best episode of this entire season and it's the best episode mm -hmm. since season 12 this is it I actually very much enjoyed this episode. Oh, then there's Castiel. Castiel actually had a really cool story. Admittedly, he's gone off and done fishing again. I find every time Castiel leaves the boys and does his own weird thing, he's always able to acclimatize so well, even though when he's with the boys, he's completely awkward again. I don't know. I thought that that part was kind of cool. I liked that him taking down the... Jinji? Uh, uh, was it Jinji? I don't know. I think it was a Jinji. That guy actually was a horrible actor too. Um, the sheriff guy who turned out to be the bad guy, yeah, he was a very bad actor. He's another negative. But aside from that, I like Cass's little story and I know that he's gonna be coming back and helping the boys soon. So yeah, I did enjoy this episode. I think it's really well put together aside from those two negatives. Yeah, I'm gonna give this episode a six out of seven. I never thought I would give a six out of seven to this show again since season 13. But that is honestly the truth that's the best episode that i've seen from this show in a long time i'm happy to finally see something good i don't know if we're going to see that again but maybe here's hoping anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more maybe subscribe otherwise see you guys next time thanks for watching the video you're probably wondering who i am my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic tv show undergrads it's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, 
Couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.